What's going on, my good people? Back outside, man. Got a nature trail, man. It probably go by five, six miles, maybe longer than that, man. I ain't went the whole trail, but it's good to like get out of nature, bro. So let God see you. Remember, <laughs> yeah, man. Stop hiding behind the, hiding behind everything else. Get outside and pay yourself, man. You pay everybody else. You're giving everything to everybody else. All your time, energy, money, everything. You're giving it to everybody else. The least you can do for yourself is come out and walk. Come out and run. Come out and do some exercises out of nature, man. This is where God is at. Out of nature. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful day outside in Texas, man. It ain't as hot as it's been. You got a little bit of rain. Look smidge of the rain the other day so cool down just a tad bit man i don't know if it's gonna pick back up or not but but anyways i want to talk about something that's probably gonna get a little bit deep and i'm probably gonna get um tap into somebody's emotions a little bit but sometimes you have to do that man to get people convicted what does convicted mean that means it hit you so hard in your chest that you had to change. So, what I want to talk about is your moral code. Moral code. What is a moral code? It's something that nobody can offer you no money for. Like people like me, uh, would you have gay sex for a million dollars? I'd be like, no. I wouldn't sell my body for nothing. Nothing. You only get one. Well, I'm going to let myself deal with a slimy person for some money. Like, what do you stand on? Bro, I be... Like, I be praying for our women, dog. Like, black women. I be praying for these women, dog. Because this music that they posting today, man, could you imagine Sexy Red singing that song at 50? Booty hole brown at 50 when you got grandkids. Can you imagine singing that song? Is that what your kids gonna be like? Man, my grandmother really, she really, really sold out for us. She did sell out for you. There's no moral code. It's no moral code. It's like bottom of the barrel. Like you eating from the bottom of everything. That's the moral code that we live in. It. You can be bought and paid for. I was like telling my wife about like like how you got to see stuff. Like, and I'm and it might hurt your feelings, but once you see it from a different direction. I said, man, look, we bought my son a bike for Christmas and the bike cost $150. I said, imagine somebody was selling themselves for $150. Everybody that has $150 can have your body. And at the end of the day, is it worth it? Some people might say, well, shit, you're gonna have sex, you're gonna have sex anyways. You might as well put a price on it. And then it's like people be thinking they not gonna live long. And then you 60 years old and you done hug your body out. You done hug your body out. But as much as I pray for my women, I pray for my men because guess what? We started this. Remember that put it in your mouth? Bro, I remember when I was young. We stayed in the hood. We stayed on the north side of Houston in a community called Greens Point. And so, Broski, I done seen some of the most unusual shit that you've ever seen in your life. Like, my mom used to send me over to this lady house, and she used to uh, babysit us. It was about seven or eight. Man, that woman, because, you know, they had the cassette with the A and B side, but sometimes it would be the same song. <laughs> I remember this lady played Bust Down. Have you ever heard that song? 
bust down. Nasty B. Nasty B. Nasty. Bro, I used to love that song. And then one day I woke up, I was like, is that the song you want to be playing at 60? When you rapping? And they like, hey man, sing that song. And you run out there and sing this song at 60. I said, whew. I don't want to set that legacy for myself. I don't want to be the bust down guy at 60. Another thing that I used to see growing up in Greens Point, the Saturday morning stroll to the grocery store or to the convenience store up the street. So back in the days, your mama would write a list for you and she would put it on the paper and then she would send you off to the store to get this stuff that we need. So you walk to the store, right? And then you see all the high school kids, because me, that's probably, I was probably a middle school kid at this time. You see all the high school kids and they be camped out on some stairs. And at first you don't know what they camped out on these stairs for. But, you know, as I grew up in the Greens Point area, we stayed there till I was about 13, we noticed what the hell was happening? So, you come out, let's just say you walk to the convenience store. I remember this young, this young man named Solomon. Crazy that this man name was Solomon. Solomon, I remember uh, one Saturday I walked to the store, Solomon, hey man, Patrick Camille. This is how the, the uh, the people that we would look up to and thought was cool, this is how they would do stuff to us. So they'd be like, come over here. And he would try to introduce me to the girl that everybody on these staffs just bust down. She the knockdown chick, she the run through. Hey man, go on and have sex with her. I'm not doing that. My mama sent me to the store, dog. My mama crazy. I'm not gonna do it, I'm gonna watch this store, I'm gonna go home. And they would be like, come on, dog. Go up in there and have sex with her, dog. She gonna let you do it. And I'd be like, no. Bro, I remember one time, they finally got it. They was like, hey, man, go on up in there and do what you gotta do. And I went up in there and the smell, I'm very sensitive to smells. You see my nose. Hey, man, I got a big nose for a reason. I'm very sensitive to smells. I went in there and as soon as I stepped foot in that house, I smell that shit and I said, nope. That ain't no type of woman I want to deal with. And if she letting all you goofy motherfuckers hit, it ain't no way that's where I need to be. And then I say to myself, what the hell that happened to this woman for her to have sex with five or six dudes on a Saturday morning while her mama at work? What done happened to you, young lady? And what the hell is that woman doing now? And then her brother would let him do it. Like, it's coming to the house, and run a train on his sister. What the hell happened to him? What the hell that happened to these kids? I can guarantee you that girl got molested. I can guarantee. But the thing is, when people get molested and nobody talks to them about it, they don't have a sense of self-love. So how they find out giving love is through sexual favors, through seduction. That's the devil's playground but you were introduced to the devil's playground at a very young age. And this is what's been happening to our young ladies out here. Actually, it's been happening to our young men as well. Now, I was talking to my homeboy the other day. He getting engaged. And he told me that he had been molested by three different women before the age of nine. So he was having sex with grown ass women. I don't know what they was doing to him, uh, giving him oral, letting him stick his thing in. I don't know what the hell they was doing, but these old ass, nasty ass women was having sex with this little boy. He got raped at five. He got molested at five. He got molested at seven. And he got molested at eight. But he had a strong family base he never told his mama till he got young he's until he got older but he said he was dealing with a woman 
in his adult age and he was telling her like because he had been telling the story and, and you know when you tell it to men who have undeveloped brains they think that's cool that you was having sex at a very young age but then he told it to a woman a woman was like that's not normal dog for a child that's not normal and then he had to look at himself he said damn that wasn't right what if I had a child, somebody did that to my child? You can corrupt the child. Don't think that you can't corrupt no child. You can corrupt an adult. So what makes you think an impressionable child cannot be corrupted? Growing up without a moral code. No standard because they don't have self-love. They only get love through sex. This is all we got going on today. All them nasty motherfuckers done raped all them kids. Some of them done died and gone. Some of them still here, molesting, taking advantage of kids with no dads in the picture. And then when we, when they get to our age, they the booty hole brown girl. Then we got the LGBTQ community. Before we have any conversation about what people's sex is and what they're going to be called, have you been molested? Let's start right there. What happened after you molested? Did your parents figure it out for you? Did your parents talk to you? Did the parents say, hey, man, that person didn't have good sense? That person was wrong? Did you see your parents stand up for you and go and beat up the goddamn molester? Of course you didn't. When it happened at the church, did the pastor call it out the next day? Of course he didn't. Now, if the pastor didn't know, fine. If the community didn't know, fine. But if y'all know, this is what we dealing with today. The booty hole brown girls of the world. That ain't got molested and raped. Tell me it's not happening. Tell me it's not happening. So we got Kids that grow into adults with no moral code. Everything goes. You can, have, you can do anything to me. You ain't got to be my husband. You ain't got to pledge your life to, to this family. You ain't got to do none of that. All you got to do is say, you see what you want to fuck tonight? And they're going to be like, yep, I don't have no moral code. This is how I feel love. Let me go ahead and have sex with him. And then they start putting money on it. Boy, I, I listen to that girl talk about Young Blue. And everybody's like, ain't he married? Didn't she know he was married? She ain't got no moral code either. He don't, she don't. What makes it different from him cheating with her? Guess what, ladies? These men are not cheating with themselves. It's somebody throwing that thing from the free throw line right now and with no moral code. All she want to do is get pregnant so she can get all the long ass baby hair she can get. Yep. That's what's happening out here. A whole bunch of kids that have got compromised back in the days as children, whether they know it or not, because you can get raped or uh, molested at a very young age and not remember. Just not remember. If you got molested at three, five, man, you don't remember that shit. You do not remember. But... When you have a moral code, bro, and that's because we don't have fathers in the home teaching the moral code. The father is the moral code. The father should be the moral code. If the father is on moral code, everything up under his um, kingdom is under the moral code. But with there's no father there, we get these things called queendoms. And queendoms run a little bit differently. Kingdom, queendoms run on emotion. Kingdoms run on a rational thought of mind, a logical thought of mind. Could you imagine if America was being ran on emotions? Oh, it's okay. It is ran on emotions right now. And that's why you see the community how it is today. You can't say nothing. Everybody in their feelings. But why? Oh, we don't want to talk about real problems. We don't want to talk about real problems no more. All we talk about is foolery. 
I can't talk about everybody else coming. I ain't never been white. I ain't never been Asian. I ain't never been Jewish. I ain't never been none of that. I ain't never been Mexican. I ain't never been Spanish. I have been an African American inside of a country that I have watched turn, turn. Now we got the booty hole brown girl. Um, I'm sure Cardi and um, Megan Thee Stallion about to drop the nastiest fucking song they could possibly drop. But that's a spirit of molestation in our community that we not going to discuss. I already told y'all about my family. Hell, my sister died when I was 35 from cancer. We didn't find out she got molested. I didn't find out that my sister was molested till I turned 40. Sister been dead and gone. Five years later after my sister done passed, my dad said my sister was molested at three by a woman. And then she ended up liking what? Women. Tell me it's not a coincidence. No kawinky dinks in guard world. If you live on, oh man, well, it's just coincidence. Not a coincidence, man. This is this. And then we sit here in 2023 with no moral code for our people. I just watched a pastor uh, apologize to his congregation, his grandchildren, everybody about having gay sex. And then he filmed it. What type of ignorant ass nigga is that? A prideful nigga. A ego filled nigga. Yeah, I said it. I said it. And these are your leaders. These are your leaders. They compromise too. His ass probably got molested as a kid. And don't know why. Hey man, once some shit happened to you, it's in you. Like when a kid, when somebody has sex with a kid, do you know what, what sex feel like when you if, when you first experienced it? He was like, oh my God, it's the greatest feeling in the world. Imagine giving that to a kid. Imagine. Imagine giving that to a kid. Giving that type of responsibility to a kid. It's 40-year-old women that's my age that don't have no control over their sexual habits. And then we get this to a kid and be like, why you can't handle that? Why you can't handle what I can't handle? We giving a responsibility to people who have no idea how heavy sex is. And then we sit here in 2023 with zero moral code for the African American community, dog. Zero moral code. What we stand on, dog? People can just pay us money and buy us off? What? People can just give you money for your body and buy you off? What? That's because you feel you have a poor self-worth. That means inside of your body, something ain't clicking. Man, look here. I ain't for going to this all the day, man. Y'all don't want to hear this because it's still happening. What are we going to do, dog? <laughs> I've been talking about this subject for a very long time. And every time I talk about it, men and women be coming to me with their molestation stories. And I hear them out because I know it's happening. I know boys getting molested as well as women, little girls. Hey man, let's check our moral code. Like when your father done failed you on this earth, you have a father in heaven. Hey man, talk to him real quick. Tell him, ask him who you are. I had a sex addiction, dog. I did not know where this sex addiction came from, but it came from my lack of self-worth. Sex was the only thing that made me feel good. I had to get out of a feel-good game and say, what does my father in heaven want from me? What do you want me to do? What do you want me to tell your people? Wake up, Israel. It's time to wake up.